The Grand Rapids Scorecard has given the Anishinaabe community the ability to experience different cultures, different music, different types of dance, whereas they may not have been able to ever do that before, it may not have even been aware of it. The word's being spread and the program's been in effect for over a year now and it's very, very good. As it gets further into the native community, it'll, it'll expound there the way it has within the greater Grand Rapids area. Working with uh, Brent Michael Davids and the Grand Rapids Symphony was probably one of the best times we've ever had in the Anishinaabe community. We were asked to bring one of our drums forward, asked to bring our, our traditional dancers, our kids, our elders, to be on stage in a completely packed theater. And the response that came from that from within the community was outstanding. The traditions that we've kept and in in how we live and we try to live as traditional as possible um, is, is to remember that we're not here for us, but we're here for our great, great grandchildren and that we want to expound on, on everything that we do is for them, it's not for us. In the same way with getting the Grand Rapids Symphony involved with this, you know, maybe that teaching can go out to other communities so that they can learn, they can be passed on from generation to generation. And the Grand Rapids Symphony, you know, would do nothing but help in that way. Mm -hmm.